Hello, welcome to Spirit of Life. My name is Geraldine Lee, your host, and our guest is Virgil. He's sharing his faith journey. Welcome, Virgil. It's great to have you on the show. And you, you have a very interesting surname, a wonderful one. <laughs> Could you um, explain your surname and pronounce it for me? My surname is pronounced Umipig. Umipig, actually. It's a Filipino-based uh, uh, surname meaning um, something to hug sometimes ah, with force ah. normally it came it came from you know the older um, uh, forefathers that we we have back there so um, we um, somehow maintain that it's an ilocano word uh, meaning um, to hug it's uh, something to do with uh, you know uh, real <laughs> passionate hugging yeah uh, oh that's wonderful and i uh, and you're also um a choir leader of a filipino choir yes um we have formed a um, choir in uh, our services uh, music ministry we call it the sanghimi choir and uh, we normally are uh, singing uh, every sundays in uh, St. Simon's uh, Parish in Roville. Fantastic. So, Before you go too much more into that, we'd also like to hear how you came, your faith journey and how you came to the point of serving God in this way. How did you start your faith journey? Well, the um, uh, Filipinos are normally what we call the uh, uh, Catholic nations of Asia, you know, the only Catholic nation in Asia. I don't know if we can still claim that. So we have inherited our faith um, from uh, our parents. But I came from mixed religion, actually. My, um, my dad is um, coming from a, um, a local faith, they call it uh, Iglesia Ni Cristo or my mom is a Glipayan or Seventh-day Adventist, you know, and I'm the only Catholic, um, and, and my brother also, I think, is the only Catholic in the family. Mm -hmm. But we, we grew into that faith, but attending a lot of other churches too. But for me, in my spiritual journey there, is that I have proven the, um, the closeness of God in, in my life, and I have learned to be dependent of that. The grace of the Holy Spirit <clears throat> it's very active in my life so I followed that and it gives me strength to uh, to nurture my spiritual journey in my life great and you have, um, <clears throat> you work and you have a family oh yes um, I am married to a very nice uh, lady uh, named Evelyn uh, she's also Filipina Evelyn Pangan um, now we, we are blessed with two children King's wishes <laughs> a boy and a girl. Lovely. My um, firstborn is uh, JM, and the second one is Catherine May. And they're both grown ups and have their own family at this time. And um, yeah, enjoying to be a grandparent at this Fantastic. point. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, and, you're, and you're working and you're also doing mission. <laughs> yes. We um, are also a missionary in our work now. I work as a yeah, customer service. Um, manager in the, one of the well-known uh, chain of stores uh, company computer company in melbourne and um yeah they're also i i'm bringing my um, uh, christian faith into my work colleagues and the work environment into dealing with a lot of people in there uh, mm. championing our <laughs> uh, our uh, mission to spread the love of god and the peace to common man Wow, and and you also um, have um, um, bring God into your your 
your relationship with your wife. I hear that you all are going to a date after, <laughs> after the interview. <laughs> yes. My wife is a good cook. So, um, yeah, it's very difficult for me to find her a good restaurant wherein it will be uh, uh, enjoyable for her too. But, uh, yes, uh, from time to time, of course, um, there is that... Um, seeing wherein we should enjoy the company of, of, of each other more, but we are still both working. We only meet night time uh, at this point. And uh, yeah, from time to time, it's uh, good to have, um, you know, um, uh, some time together. Now, mm. now we are now an empty nest at this point, but <laughs> uh, truly enough, we are just making the practice that in, in marriage, our relationship is still very close at this age. We're with both seniors now, but uh, still very much uh, uh, in love with each other. That's and beautiful. That, with that, yeah. And I believe that um, that saying that it takes three to get married there and with God to be our, uh, uh, you know, always the guest of our house and always the guest of our relationship, seeing, seeing that one. And we're right. trying to make good of that relationship. That's great. Right. It's not, I mean, in Australia, nearly, I think, 1.8 of marriages end up in divorce. So it's wonderful <laughs> to have uh, a, a lasting marriage. Yes. There are yeah. lots of challenges, but of course, um, with, with God in between there and uh, being also the, um, uh, what do you call, the, uh, the priest of the family, if we can say, there, I, I think... Uh, uh, it's always a um, a uh, a good uh, like someone to lean on to some some yeah. something to lean on to in terms of um, okay. you know. And if you have a conflict, what do you do? Conflict. <laughs> Sometimes it's still the uh, breathing, uh, deep breathing, and somehow just say, you know. It will pass. <laughs> yeah, so you, it will pass, and you always um, know so that. So you don't yeah. attack back. You just no, breathe. You no. just <laughs> breathe and uh, breathe in God's love and. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. So you you, you look for God's um, perspective in the relationship. Correct. And um, we mm. would still would like mm. to be yes. called within a member oh, of like a couple's oh, for Christ. That's so great yeah. to hear about that. But we'll hear about in the neck in the break. Okay. After the break. All right. All right. You've been watching Spirit of Life. Stay with us, and we'll be back after the break. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Spirit of Life. My name is Geraldine Lee, your host, and our guest is Virgil. He's sharing his faith journey and his ministry. Welcome back, Virgil. Uh, you were sharing about the couples for Christ and how that has somewhat helped your relationship with your wife. Is that true? That's correct. Uh, in the Couples for Christ, of course, um, organization we tend to um, center our life towards uh, Jesus you know and it's good to bring the um, the, uh, um, the each partner in a way so that you share the same faith you share the same perspective in the relationship and and that you share the same uh, direction in life that then then you could realize also um, the um, uh, shortcomings of uh, each, uh, you know, each husband, typically shortcomings of the wife also. And somehow you share these experiences with the other members of the, the group also. It enhances and it make your understanding wider of, of the um, uh, oh, okay. shortness and the what they call the shortfalls of every uh, and you realize every, it's common that realize, it's not yeah, only your wife or yes. husband that that's part of humanity and then you would say hey uh, you know see 
you are like that at sometimes when when people oh, okay. begin to analyze the things. Say, oh no, no, you are like that sometimes. So at least, oh, we are not the only ones in this one. And then we dedicate our mistakes, our uh, you know shortcomings to um, to God. Mm. And then we ask for forgiveness in that one, yeah. and then we realize more uh, the blessings. Also, mm. we thank God for the presence uh, of, oh, of, of wow. each other. So in our you life. have an attitude of gratitude, and you also, while you can see the shortcomings, you also focus on the positives Correct. of each other. That's fantastic. Tends and to be, yeah. And do you all? So you have sharing groups, and you pray together. We, we we share groups with that, and sometimes we separate men with the women there, and and then it all ends up in praying and praising God, with of of course the um, the thankfulness to be, uh, to be alive and uh, to be knowing, and to be appreciating the the graces of God that mm. has uh, you know been endowed to us wow. in our family. Oh, that's great to hear about Couples for Christ. And you're also a, a leader of a Filipino choir in St. Simon's, Roeville. Could you share it, about it? Yes, there was one time when we, uh, when we were new to Australia at that time in 1997. And towards that, we just came in and then we attended this uh, Catholic uh, uh, church there near our um residents, which happened to be the St. Simon's uh, Parish in Roeville. And th then we meet all the country mates in there on that time. There's a few only. Uh, you can count by um, you know, 20s, 30s there attending the 11 o'clock, 11.30 that time mm. uh, mass. And then the parish priest uh, that time. Um, can I mention this name? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Father Martin Dixon yeah. uh, said, "Okay, uh, I think we need to enliven the the mass a bit, uh -huh. um, you know, and maybe somebody might start to form a choir there." And then, while chatting with the uh, other choir, uh, members of the church, I mean the parishioners of the church, then we came up with, "Hey, Filipinos are known for you know singing and everything. Mm -hmm. Why don't we? You know how to play the guitar and then." We can bring some of the songs that we know, and then that start. We practice on uh, our friend's house one time, and we tend to you know flow in together with with blend such, in uh, together, yeah, wow. blend in together with harmony. And then that time, we presented ourselves to sing in that, that time in the church, and then from around minimum. Um, you know, numbers of church attendees there, it grew into a standing oh, wow. room only. Wow. I hear that people get touched by your singing. Can you share a little bit about oh, some stories of people who've been touched? Yes, we have adapted um, some... I designed the, uh, the um, church um, uh, repertoire, <laughs> if we can call it, yeah. every Sunday. And then when we choose the songs, we <clears throat> tend to enhance the gospel uh, readings and messages oh, of great. that Sunday. And then we choose carefully our songs in there. And normally, after the, uh, after the Mass, people, the parishioners would approach us and um, uh, mm. saying their, uh, you know, how, how they were touched by the songs. Mm. And say, for example, there is a song that we sing, if I can mention the title, yes. it's uh, called... I am the God that healeth thee. Mm. And oh, wow, people are touched at the end of the Mass and saying, hey, I, I was inspired. They were saying they were inspired by the songs and that because they have uh, certain afflictions that are present in them or uh, at their person at that time. And they said they, uh, they get a, uh, some sort of assurance that God is still tending oh, with right. them. So they felt you know? his comfort. Yeah. Mm. And also in the ending of the Mass, when we sing happy songs like this, and then it, it makes Lifts their up day. The spirit. You know? mm. Yeah. It lifts their spirit to, you know, to stick with, <laughs> with the man upstairs. <laughs> yeah. And you've been going like, for 20 years or something, 25, 24 years, your choir? 24 years, actually, yes. We wow. began in 2002, I believe. 
and this we are not really singers by you know by professions there we come from different walks of life there we normally call them before the bathroom singers only and yet it's just because our um, maybe choir uh, musicians too and our few singers there that uh, lead the group you know it the, the blending that makes it very emotional Powerful. prayerful yeah. and inspiration and, uh, inspiration yeah, it's all there mm. so from bathroom singers to inspirational singers yeah. that what we can oh wow call on that note we'll go for a break <laughs> <laughs> all right you've been watching spirit of life stay with us and we'll be back after the break Hello, welcome back to Spirit of Life. My name is Geraldine Lee, your host, and our guest is Virgil. Welcome back, Virgil. Thank you, Geraldine. You were talking about the, um, how your um, singers in your choir really inspire people, but you started off as bathroom singers. But <laughs> in, yes, that's right. And, and then you were saying a bit about how a mother and son were really inspired at one of the uh, performances or at the mass. Yes, um, there's a few stories coming back to us, and there was one time because I was uh, the uh, the choir master there. Uh, they they come to talk to me, and they said the, he, the a mother was a regular parishioner there was thanking me for the for the songs that um, we have just uh, rendered on, on on the mass saying that he just invited his um, son because the son uh, now a grown up as uh, he said doesn't want to to come to the mass anymore much more with the mother at this point but there was a time he said that uh, just please try to come and uh, listen he said listen to to the uh, to the gospel and uh, the, you you will like it and and when when the son came in finally to just uh, uh, say yes to the mom's wishes like that and then the son apparently when she heard us singing uh, one sunday on that one she, he said the son was crying and it was teary-eyed i don't know somehow the song might have um, uh, inspired him so much or realized some of the um, uh, things that she might have done there and and the mom was very, very pleased that we made that effect to this, on to his son like that, and then he kept um, attending. Then af after that one, to I think church. Yeah, wow, somehow somehow there was uh, some sort of coming a, back uh, yeah, to God sort yeah, of thing through the music. Yeah, the um, the spirit of of uh, being there. Yeah, yeah that uh, God appreciating had God's him. love. Fantastic. You know, it, it's there. That's wonderful. So, um, Emma, you were saying earlier that you are a man of prayer. So I suppose all these prayers, uh, you must say prayers as a choir too, you know, yes, before you uh, perform. We uh, we believe that uh, singing singing is um, singing praises is praying twice, you know, and that we are very much into that kind of service. Also, we dedicated our time, talent, our voice, actually. Um, uh, to the um, uh, to the love of God and to inspire people, in, or to at least draw them back again. Uh, I think that's what we uh, um, our ministry is um, uh, known for now at, at this point, oh, and great. we are very happy that we are doing our part in that one. Fantastic! And um, so you do sing in other places besides Saint Simon? Uh, we do by invitational at at. at uh, times uh, we used to not we used to we are still singing in times of, of wedding and then uh, funerals at this point uh, um, you know yeah, bringing when people invite yeah, you to yeah, that's fantastic something like this and um, just just for the sake of you know making you know people appreciate also the uh, the uh, 
the spirit of of love. You know, we have put that as our mission in life too. Yeah, of God's love. All right, it's love and service to God. That's fantastic. Um, and you also um, are of people of different ages, and you have also professionals in your sing choir. Yes, from bathroom singers. So of course, there are bathroom singers, but there are professional. Our lead singers also are professionals. They've been singing a few uh, countries in the uh, in the world, uh, and our uh, musicians are also um, uh, members of their own band. Oh wow! And then we group together and then use. Yeah. Uh, their uh, God-given gifts yeah, to uh, render a cohesive uh, choir. That's what we call it the Sanghimig, meaning it's a Filipino word, coined together word that says one voice, and we can produce that voice. Thank That's God for beautiful. that. That's <laughs> beautiful. So you sing different harmonies too? Yes, correct, oh, as, wow. as much as possible. I think that makes our, uh, our group more, um, uh, you know, the message Intiv that we convey there yeah, are, are powerful. more intimate and yeah, powerful. Yeah, that's beautiful. And you're going to be performing at um, a Holy Family Church, Dufton, and possibly St. Mary's in um, Dandenong. Uh, could you tell us about it? Yes, thank you for the invitation, Geraldine. And um, um, we have been, I think, uh, recommended or somehow the word got gotten through. And then we were invited to grace the occasion there. I think it's more or less a, um, a charity event. And we are very much into supporting um, endeavors like that. Uh, we will be um, singing a few inspirational songs there and um, yeah, we will uh, be attending and I'm inviting people to please <laughs> <laughs> if they have the time to enjoy some music. Not only yeah. us, of course, there are other uh, yeah. mus uh, singers there and groups, but we are representing our uh, Sanghimi choir group there, coming from our Paris also to mm. uh, render and grace the the occasion. I think it's, it will be on the 27th of October. Yeah. And yeah. also the second engagement on the 24th Fourth of, of November. November. Yeah. yeah. And I invite, uh, yeah, we will, we will be there. Yeah, and I think the the website that they can hear yeah, about they can, it is um, uh, cogtheater.org. They can, yeah, they can uh, check us, uh, the event there on the uh, cogtheater.org. Uh, org, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. And, and uh, please, uh, we invite them to... Uh, and and St. Simon's time. Roville. And St. Simon's Roville, yes, of course. Yeah. And uh, so what um, what do you um, usually do once you've sung the songs? Do you all pray together or do you celebrate together? Or we do, do celebrate you... together, of course. But, um, of course, we, we finish... We begin and finish the um, occasions with oh, prayers. Right. We thank God for mm -hmm. giving us the energy okay. and the time to yes. uh, render our services to them. Thank you so much. And we'll have you back for the next show because you, <laughs> you're so wonderful. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> yeah. Michelle. You've been watching Spirit of Life. Join us again next week. Goodbye and God bless you. Yeah.